Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I hope y'all letting y'all look like shine today. Anyway, let me say my grace and I'll tell y'all what I got. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord God. I thank you for our many blessings, Lord. First of all, for just waking us up this morning and letting us see another day, Lord God. We appreciate our gift, Lord God, and won't take it for granted. We thank you for our right mind, God, for our health and strength, Lord, whatever portion that we have for being able to move around on our own, Lord. We just thank you right now. We ask you, Lord, to touch those right now who have any affliction, afflictions, Lord God, and standing in the need, Lord God. We ask you just to touch and work that thing out for them, God. We know that you're able and we know that you can. Lord, we thank you for the food that we're about to receive, for the nourishment of our body. In Christ's name, amen, amen. So, y'all, I have some darn uh, green beans, some squash, onions, and shrimp today that I done let over cook. But I'm going to eat it. I let the green, I just, oof, just, and, and just, they too soft, but okay, no problem. You do that sometimes, got busy doing stuff, and then my brother had asked me about, had our meal prep, right? And I just got one vacation day tomorrow. I took, trying to <clears throat> use up some time. And so I took one day tomorrow, so I'm going to finish up tomorrow, but I did cut up some squash and zucchini, so. That's how this was supposed to be some, um, just some shrimp and green beans. But I uh, end up having a little squash left. I had three little things. I have two put two in the freezer and one I'm going to cook later on this week with some uh, baked fish. And so... I threw a few pieces of squash down in the skillet, and that's how I ended up letting it all cook, because I decided to do that at the last minute like a nut. But anyway, so I cut up the watermelon while I was in there, cut up a cucumber. <laughs> Y'all know my favorite. I cut up a cucumber while I'm in there. And I'll do some, I got some chicken thighs down. Mm. I'll do that tomorrow. I did cut up a red onion. I'm gonna have to take that trash out. So I got that bag tied up when I get done eating. I'm going to take that outside and put it in the dumpster because that onion smell will be strong in here otherwise. So, what y'all cook good for dinner today? It's still good even though my these green beans are a little bit softer to my liking. It's got good flavor to it. I almost tried some of that G. Hughes uh, Thai chili in there that's for wings, but then I said, you don't even know how that tastes. You better not do that. So you better eat it like you normally would. I, um, I went to the doctor the other day right to pick up my prescription. A couple of prescriptions, and... They had laxed off wearing the mask, but, cause, and I went in there because I had forgot mine at home. They got the screen up, you know, it's a Walgreens pharmacy in the clinic, and they got the screen up, but I went in, that guy handed, politely handed me a mask, and I didn't get offended because, you know, I still wear my mask. And um, I uh, went right on and put it on. He gave it to me, even though they got the glass from him that he had on the mask, he wouldn't even fill my prescription until I put that mask on, which was fine with me. So have they start wear, back wearing the mask heavily where you are? And I thought about that as the kids are getting ready to go back to school. I wonder what they're going to do about them, you know? And I really want to take a little road trip for my birthday, but by them scheduling an offense situation, I am going to do something for my birthday on my day, which is on a Wednesday. My birthday is August 3rd. <laughs> Tell y'all go get sick of me. But, um, so I'm going to do something that Wednesday, probably around, take myself out to eat or something during the day or something like that, but then hang around town. But I won't be going anywhere now. Probably got to be here on the 4th for them to deliver. And the 5th, why they install. And then my daughter has to work in the office those days. So well, it worked out fine. I really didn't have no extra money to be doing that no way. 
even though I have a vacation club that I get on my birthday to make sure I have some money. I was sitting here thinking about something, y'all. My sister-in-law mentioned that she had to get her kids some school clothes, right? And I thought about when my daughter was in school. I had a standard routine, y'all, no kidding. But back then, my daughter loved Aeropostale, you know, when she got for her school clothes. So I would sit that money, I would put a little money in the kitty aside for her to go shopping at Aeropostale. But like Kmart, Walmart, even Sears back in the day had Lailway, right? So I would always have a Lailway going. When it was always a Lailway going, a Lailway going for Christmas. I mean, those are things I knew was coming and I could easily pay on those things, right? So it was like a routine in May or April, you know, I would say, okay, she needs summer clothes. She getting ready to get out of school. I need to go ahead and put her some stuff on the railway, you know, and I can get this out in three paydays. She can have enough stuff for the summer, you know, to wear through the summer. And I would still pick up stuff here and there. If I find a $5 dress or sundress or some shorts or something, I would pick that up. But she basically had at least eight or nine outfits to get through the summer with, you know, with. with. So... We would do that, and it was a little store down in Senatobia, this little, um, like, outlet-like store. I would go, and we probably could, I probably could get her, like, 10 things for, like, you know, $50, you know, and then she still would have stuff for church and stuff I would buy, and so I knew it was time for her to go to school, but May, um, other than the money I was putting out every payday for her to go to Aeropostale, I would... Uh, put her a little way in for school. I wouldn't try to catch a sale. I wouldn't try to go when it was a crowd. I knew that my child needed school clothes. So I said, well, you know, I'm a single parent. I don't really have no help. I need to go ahead and do what I need to do for her so she could be ready when it's time for school to start. You know, and then I would buy her. We would go to Shoe Carnival. I remember she would always, she would get K-Swiss back then or Nikes or something back then. I would get her two pair of shoes because they would always have to buy one, get one half off, and then she would get, like, her some little sandals and some little just regular shoes. Y'all remember when they had Payless? Amber said they still had them online. Back then, Payless was reasonable. Oh, she would always get some shoes, a couple pair of shoes from Payless. I had pretty decent shoes, you know, for her to just kick in and school in. And... But that's how I did it. It was just like a constant routine. It was like a rotating thing, you know. Once she started school in September, baby, I had her a little way for Christmas. But that always included, like, she would get new underwear a couple times a year. That always included, like, underwear that would include her a couple of more clothes. So in January, she could come back and she'd have some new things to wear to school in January after Christmas break. That would include whatever she decided she wanted for Christmas, which would probably be one or two big things. And then I would get her some little things, some money, and some. Uh, I always had her a goodie bag or something like that. So I just think they need to bring Lilway back because my thing is I see a lot of parents who might not have that discipline. You know, I mean, because you knew your child going to school, you know they need, they know they're growing, they're going to need the stuff, but some parents may not have that discipline, all the funds, and it was, it's just a lot easier when you're doing a layaway, that, you know, to pay your layaway than just have money sitting there and something come up and you need the money, right? So, I know they have, like, after pay now, because I've done stuff like with QVC, five easy payments, and I've ordered from this online site sometimes some clothes sometimes, and I can break it up. Like, I pay through PayPal, and I can break my PayPal payments up, like, into three payments, four payments, or whatever, right? But what if you don't qualify for that stuff? Like, you have to actually qualify for that afterpay stuff, right? So what do those people do that, can't qualify 
for Afterpay. I just think, you know, that was one of the things I hate that they did get rid of. That was really good, y'all. I enjoyed it. It was something like I haven't been doing too much today because I've had a little pain and I felt a little off. So I have been, I did exercise, but I did the chair exercises today. I didn't try to get up. I've been doing these like stomach crunches. This is dancing. So I've been doing those. I do those like when I go to the restroom, I try to do a hundred of those here and there. They just like stand up stomach crunches. And I did those like, but other than that, I got up and potted around the house, cleaned up and put up some dishes in the kitchen and I did a other little few little things. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm not feeling the best. I'm gonna go lay back down. And I had washed all, we keep blankets and stuff in this basket in the living room. And it was one clean and four of them, four or five of them were, you know, we had been using. So we used like to throw them in there. So I washed all those blankets and dried them. I fold those up and put them back in the basket. You know, if somebody come over, they can get a blanket if they cold, if we sitting up watching TV. You know, but I try to keep some clean other than the ones we use. So I got those and did that and went back in the room. Now the vacuum cleaner sitting up in the middle of my floor. I hadn't vacuumed yet, but when I get another spurt of energy, now that I've got that little stuff done in the kitchen, and I done cleaned the kitchen up already, uh, I'm going to... Like I said, when I get done talking to y'all, I'm going to uh, go out there and take that trash out. And I'm going to try to sit and find me something on TV. Y'all, I watched for the, uh, I hadn't seen it in a little minute. I didn't catch it sometime here and there, but I watched a couple of episodes of The Three Stooges yesterday. And then I watched like The Rifleman. I don't know how I got hooked just on black and white TV yesterday. Uh, do y'all ever do that? Just sit up and watch the stuff the Westerns were on. on um, I think that was me TV I was watching yesterday. The Westerns were on. So I sat there and watched TV for a couple hours yesterday, which is not the norm for me. I just got up in the middle of my bed with some sunflower seeds. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm full. I get the heat cupping sometimes. With some sunflower seeds, and I, I might if the, it's kind of not as hot today, so I'm gonna hope the weather, you know, kind of cools down a little bit more, a few more in temperature, and I'm gonna go out there and sit out on the back porch for a couple of uh, minutes or so. I ain't gonna sit no couple of hours for a couple of minutes or so. That fan I put together is in the garage, so I need to go out there and get that fan. And my neighbor over there digging up something in his yard. I'm being all nosy and they business. It's none of my business, is it? Anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off here because I ain't talking about nothing. I'm done eating and I'm sure y'all don't want to hear me jaw jacking. I jacked a long time yesterday. <laughs> oh, and I want to tell y'all, I wasn't crying about no comments. I don't care less about some darn comments they making. I actually was crying because I get emotional sometimes when I just talk about things that's important to me. And y'all are important to me. And I was just talking about how it really means a lot to me. I'm not going to cry to back. How y'all are so supportive and so encouraging and y'all come, you know. And even the ones, like I said, don't leave comments, y'all come and I know you're there. You know, and I appreciate that because you come over here and spend time on my channel and you don't have to. And it just made me emotional just talking about, you know, sometimes when I'm at my lowest, you know, and have rough days. I get on here and y'all have just given me some uh, spurt of energy and a spurt of encouragement. And that's what those tears were for. So, I mean, bump the nuts. I was just making it clear that from now on, I wouldn't be expending any of my energy wasted on coming back to them. They would be blocked immediately. But no, I wasn't emotional about that. They wasn't going, that ain't even getting to me. It's just going forward. They will not have a audience in here because I don't have time to comment back to the people that's positive. So I'm darn sure not going to spend my time trying to waste my time coming in the people that just come with a goal to be negative, nasty. But anyway, that's enough of that. We ain't got to talk about that moving forward. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. My birthday is always starting. <laughs> it's coming up, so I'm getting excited. I don't normally get all excited about my birthday, but I'm going to really celebrate it this year. Even if I don't do nothing but lay back and sit back and chill. 
I'm looking forward to it. And you get older, you start thinking, thank God for letting me make it another year. Because some people don't have that blessing. You know, so whatever year you get to see, take advantage of it. Be joyful about it and be thankful for it. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Y'all know I love y'all, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And you know I'll see y'all later this on this week for something or something other. Love you. Bye.